Toys R Us is closed. Although Toys R Us is closed, outside gives kids an opportunity to be a kid. I'll demonstrate some activities I do in my free time. Now I'm going to do an experiment to test how well these safety helmets protect you. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh, and do not try this at home. This is what happens when you don't wear a helmet. This is the skateboard helmet. Let's see how safe this one is. Seems like nothing happened to the helmet. Let's check the melon. Looks like there's no cracks on the melon. So the skateboard helmet was successful. This is the bike helmet. Let's see how this one protects the melon. Seems like the bike helmet got a little bit of scratches, but was not broken. Check the melon. The melon did not get any cracks, but does have a few scratches, just like the bike helmet. This is a Cardinals football helmet. Let's see how this one works. Go Cardinals! helmet is not cracked, has a few scratches from previous games or the fall. The helmet, I meant the melon, is does not have any scratches. Just as a recap, the skateboard helmet, the football helmet, and the biker helmet all protected the melons from severe cracks. My conclusion is if you do not wear a helmet, this will happen to the inside of your head. So you should always wear a helmet to protect and preserve your brain. Mmm, that was good. Again, my name is Richard Wyatt. I attend Cook School in the Painfield Public School District. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next experiment. Oh,